I forgot I don't have a theme tune for this one, do I? <laughs> oh dear, sitting there ready to press the button. The button gets pressed and the screen changes on the stream. I'm thinking, what the heck just happened? Oh, wait, I'm on the MPTV profile. I'm not on Train Sim Live. Oh! <clears throat> and the camera's all wonky. Right, are we there? I think we're there. Right. <clears throat> so, um, the plan for tonight is, uh, because it's Tuesday, normally Tuesday is down the mineshaft followed by another game, um, but we decided to drop down the mineshaft to every other week. Um, so what that means is um, in these odd weeks, the other, the off weeks that aren't down the mineshaft, you're going to do something else. <clears throat> so sometimes it'll just be play a different game. Uh, sometimes it will be a bit of coding, maybe like this would be a sort of a semi-coding, semi-train train, train sim stream. Sometimes we all sort of hardcore, C-sharp, yay. Or sometimes maybe even a bit of Unreal development because Chair Simulator needs to exist. Maybe we'll do that uh, in a couple of weeks. But still, uh, when I mentioned I was going to do coding, this was specifically asked for, so I thought... Yeah, why don't we try and see if we can finish off, or not finish off, because there's too much to do. But let's make some significant improvement or headway on uh, on the uh, the self-driving train script. Um, <clears throat> so, where did we get to on the self-driving train script? Um, should we just run it and see what it doesn't do? Because I must admit, I can't remember if it works. M Matt, London Bridge. What are you, well, I don't know what you mean, Ed. Yeah, this is London Bridge. Hey, Danish bacon lover. Let's just see what it does. Because <clears throat> I can't remember if I left it broken. Ah, we're going the wrong way for London Bridge to cause a problem, Ed. This is the script driving it. So it knows how to manage speed limits. What we were adding last time is we were adding s signal support in, so that it would automatically handle um, trains in front. So you'll notice we're actually heading towards a train that stopped in front of us. You've got snow in Leeds, oh my word. So we're slowing down. Stopped a bit too early, really. Okay, let's make a note of that. Right, let's wait for the 456 to make its way. Hopefully it'll do in a minute. What I can't remember is if the script actually then carries on. I've got a sneaky suspicion, having stopped, it then doesn't carry on. <clears throat> Assuming the other train will ever move. No, it doesn't have gradient in it at the moment, Ed. Maybe something to look at later on. <clears throat> uh, Luke, this is just an AI drawing driving, but the idea is this script allows you to um, take over and drive it if you want to, and then let the AI try and drive, take it back over again. Even song, Amarillon? Have I used functions? <laughs> of course I have been. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Matley. 
Right, so the train ahead is now leaving. We're waiting for our signal to change. We have a left red one. Yeah, this is the scenario I trolled you all with once, yeah. Right, so it's gone green. And yet, here we are. Not doing a darn thing. So it still thinks it needs the brakes on. It's just, yeah, okay. So it's not picked up that it needs to move. That was where we left it. Right. I knew we'd left it in a somewhat broken state, but I couldn't remember what exactly was wrong with it. Uh, Ralph and yes, I will release this code. I've already had agreement from Dovetail to release it. So um, essentially the plan is that I get some functionality in that's needed. So the um, I need to get the signal scripting in. I need to get um, a, a framework so that you can put different um, um, driver scripts in. So at the moment, the script specifically knows how to drive this train, but a steam train or an electric train or you know, any other train is going to need some slightly different handling. It's going to need some, you know, a little bit of code that you'll need to write so that you can do that. And once that framework is in, then I can release it. And then it's easy for you to then take that code and then customize the code if necessary for the train you want it to drive, drop down the appropriate events into the route and off you go. Trolled the Danish bacon of a yes. I don't know if someone can find the YouTube link, but essentially what happened was that because this drives itself, I sat here and I said, here, we're going to drive a scenario that I'm all, I've am i started writing. Um, <clears throat> and um, so what I did was um, uh, I started driving the scenario. Uh, and when I, uh, at a certain point in it, I'd arranged for my wife to come in and, and uh, very excitedly say, you need to come inside now. There's something urgent. And so I threw my headset off, pressed the escape key, and as I get up, got up, I pretended to I pressed the escape key again, pretending to be accidental with it. Um, and uh, and so of course everyone on the chat, and then I went inside and sat watching is watching the chat on my phone. So the scenario carries on to drive the train drives, apparently driving without any kind of driver, and everybody's sitting there starting to go, well this should be interesting. And then it starts slowing down and stops at a station and everyone starts scratching their head going, what's going on? Then it starts, it accelerates and starts moving again. And it slows down for a speed restriction. And it's all automatic. <clears throat> and it, it, it took a while before anyone started to think that maybe it was a, it was a bot driving it. They thought I was driving it remotely via wireless Xbox controller. And, oh, it was amazing. Was it better than normal? Yeah, it was. And that surprised, it surprised me that everyone didn't immediately smell a rat, to be honest, Fab Diva, but they didn't. <clears throat> so, more for you lot. And I know some of you didn't forgive me for ages. And yeah, Ed even knew I was doing this. I'd said, oh, Ed, tonight I'm going to uh, I'm gonna um, sort them all out and I'm going to troll them all. And he thought, oh, that's going to be funny. And he totally didn't even realise that that was what was happening. It was just hilarious. Even Ed, who I'd specifically told I was doing this, didn't realize it. So, yes. Anyway, funny story. Every now and again, I like to get my own back on you guys. It's got to be done. Right. The code. So. So, test condition, control, change, monitor. Check distance, speed limit, signals, check for stopping points, check AWS is going off, and then update all the controls as a result of that. <clears throat> Give me some credit. You said you'd do it sometime in the next few weeks. Did I? No, it wasn't that much of distance. Hey, Chris, how's it going? Face it, Ed, you forgot. You forgot. It wouldn't have mattered if I told you earlier in the day. You get your own back on us like every time you point out you're playing something we can't yet. <laughs> uh, speaking of, oh no. Um, right, so we've got check stop. So that's the slowing down and stopping. That should be fine. So we get the next restrictive signal. 
think what I need to do is get the logging running so I can see what it's actually doing because I can't even see where we're at. Right, what we'll need to do is come out of the game. Hang on a minute, folks. <clears throat> need to restart it so that it 